Alright, so for this video we're going to look at finding the total differential. We have a function z in terms of x and y, or you know z or f of x, y. It's a function in terms of x, y. And we want to find the total differential. Well the total, di the total differential is dz is equal to the partial of z with respect to x times dx plus the partial of z with respect to y times Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so here's our first one. Find the total differential. Alright, so dz is equal to the partial of z with respect to x. Okay, so I'm taking the partial with respect to x, so that means y is considered to be a constant, a number. So the derivative of x cubed, that would be 3x squared minus, and then the derivative of y natural log x. Well, it would be the same thing if you had something like this, 7 natural log x. Well, what would be the derivative of that? It would be 7 times 1 over x. Well, see, the y is acting just like the 7, okay, because it's just a number. So that would be y times 1 over x. All right, and then that would be times dx plus now it's the partial of z with respect to y alright so the derivative of x cubed well that would be zero because remember we're taking the partial of z with respect to y so x is considered the number okay so that's zero and then here minus y natural log x well look at this natural log x is just a number like a seven or a 9 or a 10. What's the, what, what's the derivative of 10y? 10. Okay. So the derivative of natural log xy, that would just be minus natural log x times dy. Okay. All right. So dz is equal to 3x squared minus y over x dx minus natural log x dy and that would be your total differential and yeah I mean you could simplify this you could get a common denominator if you wanted to but not really necessary uh, let's look at the second example find the total differential we want to okay so we want to find dz so that's the partial of z with respect to x. All right, so we're taking the partial of this with respect to x. So y is considered the number. So the derivative of sine is, is cosine xy times the derivative of what we're taking the sine of. So the derivative of xy Remember, x is the variable, y is a number. So that would be times y. Okay, And then this is times dx. I'm sorry. Let me erase that, getting ahead of myself. All right, minus, and we've got to take the derivative of this. We're taking the derivative with respect to x. So that's minus y times negative sine x. Okay, that's the derivative of cosine is negative sine. Well, this is just a number. Okay, so nothing we do with it. It'd be like doing this, 5 cosine x. Well, that's just negative 5 sine x. That's exactly what we have here, Neg negative y sine x. And then all of this is times dx. Plus, now we take the partial of z with respect to y. Okay, so this time x is our number, our constant, y is our variable. So the derivative of this would be cosine xy, okay, that's the derivative of sine, cosine xy times the derivative of what's inside. 
So that would be times x. Okay, remember, x is the number, y is the variable. So the derivative of x, y would just be x minus, and then the derivative of this, y cosine x, well this time the cosine x is treated like a number. So the derivative of cosine x, y, or y cosine x, that's just cosine x. And then that's times dy. And <clears throat> I guess I'll go ahead and rewrite it. I'm just going to write the variables in front. So that would be y cosine <clears throat> xy plus y sine x <clears throat> times dx plus, whoop, plus x cosine xy minus cosine x and then all of that times dy. Okay, so that's your total differential. This is the partial of z with respect to x, and this is the partial of z with respect to y. Alright, let's look at one more. <clears throat> Alright, so here we have uh, an e exponent, and we have a natural log. Alright, so z is equal to e to the 2xy times natural log x squared plus y squared. Alright, so dz, alright, so when we take the derivative of this, or the partial of z with respect to x, do that first, that's the product rule, okay? So it's going to be the derivative of the first function times the second function plus the derivative of the second function times the first function. Alright, so the derivative of the first function. Alright, so derivative e to the 2xy, that's just e to the 2xy times the derivative of the exponent. Okay, so remember 2xy, x is the variable, everything else is a constant. So let me just, maybe this is easier for you to see. If we rewrite it like that, that's the constant term. What's the derivative of 7x? 7. What's the derivative of 2y? x. Well, that's just 2y. Okay. Okay, and then that's times the second function, natural log x squared plus y squared plus the derivative of the second function. So the derivative of natural log, remember whatever you're taking the natural log of, that goes in the denominator, and then the derivative of that denominator goes in the numerator. So the derivative of x squared is 2x, the derivative of y squared, y squared is a constant, so the derivative of a constant is 0, and then that's times e to the 2xy. And then all of that is times dx. Okay. Now, let's do the other one, or let's do the partial of z with respect to y. So now that's plus, now we have to take the partial of z with respect to y. Well, once again, we're going to have to use the product rule. So it's the product of the first term, so that's e to the 2xy, and then the derivative of this, well this time the 2x is our constant, the y is the variable. So the derivative of 2xy is just 2x. And then that's times the second function. Okay. Move this plus over some. Alright, so that's the derivative of the first function times the second function plus the derivative of the second function. So that's x squared plus y squared. And then the derivative of that goes in the numerator. The derivative of x squared is 0 because it's a, x is a constant. We're taking the partial with respect to y. And the derivative of y squared is 2y. And then that's times the first function. And then all of that is times dy. Okay. 
so you know you can you can clean it up uh, you know if you I guess if you wanted to you could factor out a uh, maybe let's see a two uh, both have a two e to the two x y you could factor that out and you could do the same up here okay so you know I'll let you handle that worry about simplifying that but this this part here remember that's the partial of z with respect to x and this one is the partial of z with respect to y alright so that's all for that I hope it helped uh, check out my other videos and don't forget to like and subscribe thanks for watching